everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm back on site again today with my dad, who you can probably hear working upstairs. Uh, he's starting to work on some of the electrical outlets, getting the boxes cut out of the wall. We got them all marked out, and now we're starting to get ready for the actual pulling of the wires and everything. Uh, also, uh, he was able to help me out today by bringing some supplies that I needed. One was some bricks. Right to your uh, right, behind you on the ground, is a huge pile of old-fashioned bricks. We're going to be putting a bunch of those underneath the wood stove. He'd been keeping them for years and years, and I'm not sure which one of us is happier, whether I'm happier to receive them or he's happier to get rid of them because you know he's like me he likes to keep stuff around that you know has a use you know you hate to just throw something out that has a use someday and uh, he's going to get all that free space and I get the wonderful bricks so I think we're both appreciative but I'm probably slightly more appreciative uh, and I'm, I'm definitely on the better end of the deal because those are some really beautiful old-fashioned bricks in, fa in fact I saw some some handprints um uh, from the people that made them, and the, you know that person's probably dead. You know, there's just so much history in those bricks. I and I love taking things that have history and reintegrating them, giving them a new life. Uh, the other thing that my dad brought that I don't own is a diamond blade for a saw. We're going to be using it for cutting uh, some of the tile for the bathroom. And this is actually the first time that I've ever done that before. And I thought maybe why not just shoot it, and we'll see how terribly it goes. I've got all sorts of protection. This is both because you know my dad's helping when I go inside. I'm wearing uh, the PPE, but also. I bet this is going to throw up a lot of dust. I don't want to be breathing. So I'm putting this on for multiple purposes and also protect my eyes. Sometimes I go with just sunglasses, but I'm doing actual safety glasses because I value my eyes. So let's see how this goes. I got a line drawn on here and I've got it uh, spaced out with a couple of boards. I, I figured the boards could be kind of like kind of vibration dampeners. I don't know whether those are useful or not or important, but I put them on there. Here we go. This is going to take a while. Why don't we cut to a new tape? Okay, so uh, it quickly became apparent to me that hearing protection is also uh, something you would definitely want if you're going to be doing this. That was really loud. I could just feel my eardrums vibrating uh, and, you know, being destroyed. So I, I put this on pretty quickly. That's a lot of protection, you know. Respirator, definitely wanted that. You know, I, I didn't get hit with anything. It's pretty fine powder, but I think these are uh, a really good idea. This, definitely want that. I'm, and I was wearing the hat because I guess it's not that sunny out at the moment. You're just getting killed from everywhere, you know what I mean? Uh, let me show you the cut here. This is the tile I am going to be using. It went through pretty nicely. This is slate tile and uh, pretty soft. This powder was definitely floating up everywhere though and I'm glad I had the, uh, the respirator because uh, uh, yeah, I definitely would have been inhaling that stuff. But yeah, that saw works out really well. This is going to work out pretty easily. So that technique definitely, definitely works. By the way, I did a video about how to uh, clean these using water or a vacuum and stuff like that, and I got so many criticisms that it wouldn't kill any virus. This is what it's for, not for killing viruses. You can flush these with a vacuum or water to get rid of all that stuff, so you're not plugging up with that. Nice work. That's it. Thanks for watching.